welcome back. So I thought it'd be a good time to have another one of these simple changes videos where I talk about the little changes that I'm making to try and move toward a more sustainable lifestyle. And the kind of things that I'm going to share with you today are first of all the kind of presents that my family exchanged over Christmas last year and how those help us have less impact going forward. And then at the end I'm just going to share with you one little change that I've made to try and move towards zero waste. So as you know, not that long ago, it was that time of year when most of us are thinking, what are we going to be getting our family for Christmas? And the kind of thing that I wanted to get my parents was a replacement for their coffee machine. So they had one of these coffee machines where you put those single use uh, plastic pods into and then it makes your coffee. But I knew that they were possibly thinking about getting a replacement for that. So what I wanted to get them was a mocha pod. And what that is, it's just this really simple metal pot that you put the coffee and the water into, then you put it onto the stove and then it will cook your coffee for you. So the reasons why I thought this would be better for them is first of all, I think it makes better tasting coffee than most single use coffee pods. And then also it costs less to run over time because you're not having to pay for the convenience of having these plastic pods. And then on the sustainability front, the reasons why this is better is twofold. So first of all, every time you use one of these mocha pods for making coffee, you don't have to throw away one of these plastic pods. And then second of all, the mocha pot is really built to last. So it's really simple, it's really sturdy, and the very few parts of it that can break, you can find easy replacements on Amazon or eBay. Whereas if you break one of those electrical coffee machines, and I feel that they're more likely to break, you really have little choice other than just to get a whole new one. And there's a lot of materials and energy which go into building one of those. So these two aspects are the reasons why I think it's a lot more sustainable to be making your coffee with a mocha pot. Then I had some real difficulty deciding what I was going to get for my sister, but in the end she mentioned that she might want a reusable coffee cup. Now I'm hoping it was my video about my reusable coffee cup that made her think about this, but anyway that's what I got for her, she's really happy with that. And what it means is that when she gets her coffee when she's going to work, she doesn't have to get one of those single use cups, which we know has that plastic lining on the inside which is the reason why they're not recyclable. And the final present that I want to talk about is actually the present that my sister got me for Christmas and that was this glass jar of pick and mix sweets. They're my two favourite types of sweets, they're the milk bottles and the shrimps. Uh, I don't know what you think about them but they're my favourite and it's, I'm really happy with this. It was a zero waste present, I enjoyed those over the holidays and they're all gone now. And then my sister said she's happy to take the glass jar back and she can get me something else in it uh, for next Christmas. So that was completely zero waste, I really enjoyed those really happy with that present. All right, moving on. So the next thing that I want to share with you today is that I managed to get a new home for my old reusable water bottle. As you might have seen in my previous video, I got a new stainless steel water bottle for Christmas. And actually, I think my next video will be about that, the reasons why I got that. So I needed a new home for my old one instead of throwing that into landfill or recycling. And I actually found out that my sister needed a new reusable water bottle. So I was able to give that to her and she's happy with that. So now neither of us are needing to buy single use plastic bottles and I didn't need to throw my old one into landfill or recycling. So I'm happy about that. All right, and the final small change that I want to share with you guys today is the fact that I've moved from using small plastic bags for my weekly rubbish to using a reusable bin. And I know this is just a really small change, but these small plastic bags, they weigh about six grams each. I use one every single week. So over a year, that comes to over 300 grams of plastic that's unnecessarily being just thrown into landfill. So I wanted to put a stop to that. Now you might be wondering why I was doing this in the first place. And it's just that it's a habit that I got into over the years. Uh, but now I'm just going to be using this reusable bin, no more plastic bags for my rubbish. And it saves 300 grams of plastic every year. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I know that Christmas 2018 is a long way off still, but hopefully today's video was able to give you a few ideas about the kind of zero waste products that you could be either giving or receiving throughout the year for things like birthdays and other events. And I know that when my birthday comes around, I'll be asking for something low impact for my family again. But until my next video, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you then.